Okay, so here's another question from the Eli the Computer Guy forum. Can we replace SSDs with flash drives? Tamarin asks, wouldn't it be cool if you could take your home computer anywhere on an SD card? Why can't SD cards be used as uh, C drives? Who's with me? Um, I'm not sure specifically SD cards can be used as C drives. Uh, it really actually goes down to uh, what options are your, your PC allows for the UEFI. Uh, basically, you can go in and you you can select a boot order and so the boot order will tell you the different uh, hard drives or solid state drives that are in your system they also might give you an option for your optical drive if you still got an optical drive and it should give you an option for your USB ports uh, for a USB drive if you have them and so what you can do is there is something called live operating systems uh, and these have been around for years right Nopix but here, remember Nopix? Nopix was the original live operating system, and it was an entire operating system that actually resides uh, on a CD. So it's not that you it's not that you install off of the CD from back in the day, but it was you could actually run the entire operation uh, operating system off of the CD. Uh, being Linux, everybody stole that idea, so now you can get it with Ubuntu or I think any any Linux distribution, and especially now that's 2019, you can actually run that off of a USB stick. So if you have a USB flash drive, you can actually go do the research find the link uh, you can actually turn that USB flash drive into a live operating system so that you could plug it into a computer uh, any kind of PC type computer uh, and you should be able to boot off of it and then everything is there all of your the operating system is there all the applications you've installed there the configurations are there the storage is there the whole nine yards uh, now the thing is with live uh, operating systems they used to be god-awful because the interface speed was so poor um, again, when you're thinking about USB 1.2 or USB 2 speeds, uh, and you're trying to run an operating system off of that, especially going to a flash drive, um, it was possible. Again, back in the day, folks like me would use that for things like recovery. So if a computer failed and I needed to pull a couple of files off the computer, I could plug in the, uh, the, 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 the live, the, the flash drive with the live operating system on it, boot, be able to mount the local drive that had failed, that basically the operating system had been corrupted. I could go in there, grab a couple of files. So for things like um, like hacking or data recovery purposes, they were okay. Generally, the performance was just ass slow. The cool part is now, though, with uh, the new USB standards. Again, you have USB. Oh, what are we at now? 3.2. I don't know. <laughs> they're going to be coming out with USB 4. Anyways, the new USB standards and the new flash drive standards are fast enough that you could actually run an operating system off of them without it being the most miserable thing you've ever done in your life. Is it still? Is it still what I would prefer at this point in time? Probably not. But if you look, you know, with USB 4, so USB 4 is going to be tying in the Thunderbolt 3 standards. So you're going to be able to get 40 gigab gigabits, I think it's gigabit per second speed, out of a flash drive, basically out of that, that USB port. So it is kind of an interesting concept of you could just have like a little... Uh, USB 4 flash drive, you could walk to some kind of computer device, basically plug it in the side, and then that would be your operating system, that would be your storage, that would be all your configuration. So basically the idea would be you could have essentially the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, have a CPU in there, um, and then you just plug in, you plug in your, your live operating system something using like USB 4 and just be able to do whatever you're doing. So that definitely is a possibility. And it's something that you can do now. Um, I think what most people have found, though, is it's just kind of not worth the effort. Again, when live operating systems first um, became popular, became exciting, it was before smartphones, right? It really was like, you know, your only computer was your desktop computer or maybe if you're a cool laptop computer. Again, you go back 10 years ago. So I'm not sure when Nopix came out. Again, 2005, 2006. You go back to 2005, 2006. This was before even the first generation of an iPhone, much less iPhones with A12 processors or Samsung Galaxy 10s with 12 gigs of RAM, 12 gigs of RAM in a smartphone. So back then, having a portable operating system made a little bit more sense. Now, when you've got a full-fledged computer in your pocket, so you have a full-fledged computer in your pocket that has a web browser that, that's worth using, uh, that you can get your email, you can do most of the things that you want to do, all of a sudden having that live operating system, right? Oh, look, look, I have a portable operating system on my flash drive. Wow, I've got a portable operating system on the smartphone that I'm using. Smartphone wins, right? 
I don't know. So those are those are some of my my thoughts. So if you're thinking about that, being able to run an operating system off of a USB flash drive, definitely look at the live operating systems again with the. Oh, with um, Linux, uh, they've been around forever. And again, you can just go and do a search for Ubuntu uh, for a live operating system. They'll tell you how to set it up and configure it. Uh, they even had it for Windows. I'm not sure if they still had it. It was called BART PE. There was a tool back in the day called BART PE. I, I haven't seen it for years, haven't cared about it for years. Uh, but you could actually create a live operating system uh, for Windows, too, the, the same deal. Um, you might want to take a look at that. So it's definitely possible. It's like... Yeah, it's, you know, definitely possible. Is it worthwhile? Uh, That's for you folks to decide. So anyways, those are my thoughts. If you have a question, think about uh, going to the uh, forum at elithecomputerguy.com, and we'll see you folks later.